Today I'm going to talk about meditation, why I even do meditation. But before I get into it, I want to let you know that I'm offering free consultations to anybody who signs up for my mailing list. So all you need to do is go down into the box below, click the link, enter your info, and within a few days you'll get an email from me with a link to schedule. Look forward to talking to you. What we're doing when we meditate is we're learning to just sit there, situate ourselves in our center, situate ourselves in awareness itself so that thoughts can come and thoughts can go and we do not become them. And that's it. Now, there are so many different kinds of meditation techniques, some that I share on this station. Right? These can include mantra, they can include watching your breath, they can include breath work, staring at an object, walking, visualization, but really all of these kinds of things, they're just intermediate stages to getting us to be better observers. Because it's only when we're there that we can separate from the contents and not become the contents of the mind. So, now, if you struggle with finding time to meditate, I want to assure you that there is always time to meditate. It really is. If you, now, there's probably, frankly, there's probably time for you to do 20 minutes. Just in the morning, you do 20 minutes. Now, I know that that can sound like, oh man, but I gotta rush out to work and I gotta do this, and I have this, and I have that, and I have this, and I have that. Well, okay, if 20 minutes seems impossible to you, try 10. And if even 10 minutes seems impossible to you, try five. You can surely do five. And what you'll notice is that as you kind of get into the habit of it, time seems to open up a little bit because you're less caught by that. I need to be there. I need to do that. You just realize, oh, that's not as true as I thought it was. Now, you might be listening to this and be like, it's very true. <laughs> well, okay. Try it out and see. So five minutes, just start with five minutes. And this is something that we'll do right now. So you can go back to this video and use it later to get the practice. Now this is going to be a very good basic meditation technique that will train you into the observer. And we're also going to uh, you settle the nervous system down a little bit before we get into it. Because now, though the real point of meditation is not necessarily to bliss out and to feel peaceful. And the real point is to become an observer. It's easier to get to that observer place if we're more relaxed, if our body is less agitated. So let's try this and we'll go for, I don't know, five, maybe 10 minutes. We shall see. So start. I just sitting here and you can keep your eyes open and stare at a point. You can look right here on my forehead if you want and just take a deep breath. <sighs> Sigh it out. Now as you look at this point on my forehead or wherever you're looking, let your gaze become wider. So you're taking in more of the peripheral vision. And just notice how you feel as you do that. Notice that there is a palpable sense of relaxation that kicks in as soon as you widen your field of view. This happens because when we dilate our eyes, our parasympathetic or relaxation response kicks in. And because our eyes will dilate when we're more relaxed, when we dilate our eyes, we relax more. Now to drop even deeper, you can begin to lengthen your exhales. So you can begin to breathe in to a count of four through your nose, like one, two, three, four. And exhale to a count of six, two, three, four, five, 
six. In, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four, five, six. Continue to breathe like that for a little bit. What happens when we lengthen our exhale is that we get into heart rate variability, which means that our heart rate will slow down as we exhale and increase as we inhale. And this again will stimulate our parasympathetic or relaxation response. So just notice now feel inside yourself and feel the sense of calm that has kicked in just from doing these two simple practices in just a couple of minutes. So now, having done this, you're ready to meditate. So close your eyes. Just become aware of the space inside of your body. probably feel that there's a sense of expansion inside of you from having done these practices. And be aware of the space of the room. How far are the walls from you, from each other? How high is the ceiling? Now you don't look at it, but you just know that it's there. You feel it. And you can feel the space around your body say three inches from your skin. And now focus your eyes, tilt them up slightly so that you're focusing at the bridge of your nose. And just feel the air coming in going out at that point. And as the breath comes in, you can hear in your mind the sound hum. And as it co goes out, you can hear in your mind the sound sa. So hum, sa. Hum. Sa. Now thoughts will arise, and as they do, you simply let them go. And if you find yourself running with a thought, and you become aware of that, you just drop it and return to the breath. And that is all it is. You can notice that the thoughts arise, and you can just let them go. You can notice that there are sounds in the environment. Sounds coming from this video, sounds outside the window. And rather than label them, you just watch them and release them. Now maybe you find yourself labeling them before you even know it, before you even have a chance not to label them. And that's okay. Just notice it and let it go. This is what the act of observation gives you. You just see the way that the mind just keeps slithering around looking for something to attach to, looking for something to identify, looking for something to become. And it keeps taking the shape of whatever container we pour it into. It keeps reflecting whatever we put it in front of it.
So come on back to me now. So that probably took about five minutes. And that alone is something that can kickstart a meditation practice for you. This is also something that you can do throughout the day. So just at random times, you go, you know what? Okay, I'm going to try it right now. And you just kick into that mode where you just let thoughts come and go. And you let sounds come and go. And you notice what the mind is doing. Does the mind want to attach? Does the mind want to label? Does it want to go, whoo, and just swim with whatever that thing is? And can you notice a part of yourself, just the container of awareness, where it's all happening? That's what it's all about. So keep watching the station. There are plenty of other videos that share other good techniques, good gratitude practices, mantra practices, visualization practices, other things that can really benefit you. And I look forward to hearing your comments and hearing how this was for you. Mm -hmm.